first Pluto could you send in the next patient? Why, yes, Dr. Sun. It's the Earth. He's feeling a bit under the weather, and his mother's brought him in. Oh, not again. Oh, well. Send him in. Calling Earth. Come in, Earth. Hi, Dr. Sun. Ah, here again, young Earth. And what seems to be the problem this time? I'm just a little un- He's feeling awful, Dr. Sun, aren't you, dear? Lost all his color and won't eat a thing. Well, let's have a look at you. Oh, yes, I see. Dirty brown patches where it should be lush blue and green. You look a bit warm, are you? Yes. Well, I keep going cold, then warm in patches all over. And then there's the smell, Doctor. Some quite noxious gases at times. Yes, I <coughs> see what you mean. I'll tell you what. Let's pop a thermometer in your atmosphere and see what it's like. Nurse Pluto, could you take his temperature, please? <coughs> Why, certainly, Doctor. How are your motions, lad? Are they regular? Regular as clockwork, Doctor. Once every 24 hours. Although with some things, you know, it's only every 365 days. Perfectly normal, my dear boy. Ah, the temperature. Goodness me, that's high. I think I detect a bit of global warming. Do you like gardening? Oh, yes, Dr. Sun. He's grown some lovely greenery all year round. Well, very good, but I suggest you stay out of the greenhouse. It will only aggravate your condition. And what condition is that, Doctor? Well, it's rare, but you have a hole in your ozone layer. Could be serious if something's not done about it. Here, take this non-CFC inhaler three times a day. <laughs>